Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com and welcome to today's fun project. I have a fun fold for you. It's got a bridge and an open middle. Um, I've used the dies from the Fruitful Blessings bundle, acorns. And there's a pair of them. And these dies will cut out the acorn, um, the pair of pears, this image here, and this leaf here. And those are the acorns. And that's for the corn. And you've got some extras with leaves. And I'm using the sentiment from the autumn leaves. Um, this is also available as a bundle with dies to match, but I'm only going to be using the stamp set today. The other items I'm using is the Moody Mauve ink pad and the Neutrals adhesive back sequins. So these are from the All About Autumn. 6x6 designer series paper. So first you align the 6x6 inch sheet so that um, at 3 and 7 eighths and you cut away that piece okay then turn it around this side on the long side and you cut each piece at 1 and 3 8 inches by 3 and 7 8 inches so that's 3.5 by 9.8 and you need four of those and then you get left over just this piece here you can save that for another project you also need some gold foil you need four pieces of gold foil cut at one and a half by four inches and in metric that's 3.8 by 10.2 centimeters and you want to cut a quarter inch border all around okay so to create a frame and you can keep these pieces so I want to cut a quarter inch frame all round um, because you're not going to see inside the frame. So take that, line it a quarter inch. And then cut between the two cut lines. So there are your four matte layers to go on the top and bottom and on this bridge here and on the back of the bridge. So these pieces will then go on top of the frame like so. I'm going to use double sided tape for this um, because it's gold foil and smudge the foil. So you have to remember that um, you want two with the double sided tape on the back and two with the double sided tape on the leaf portion because you want the gold foil to show at the top. Your card base measures five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter and in metric that's 14.8 by 21 centimeters and folded in half. We want to cut this middle section out so here's how you do it. Align your cardstock so that the short side is on top. Now this is your card front so you want that up here align that at one and five eighths so that's one and a half and you scooch over um, 
two markings to the one and five eighths. Then place your cutting blade on the score line and cut up. So that's your first cut. Now rotate your cardstock 180 degrees and now you want to align other edge at the bottom of your trimmer and again line at one and five eighths so there's your one and a half and scooch over to here and cut from the score line here down towards the bottom. Then fold these two flaps down, line it up at the top, put your score line in the cutting groove and use your cutting blade and just cut. Or if you don't want to use the trimmer, you can use your scissors to trim that off. Use bone folder and flatten the edges so they don't rock up. And if there are any raggedy bits, you can just use a scissors and trim off that fluff. Now out of this remnant, you want to trim the panel. So don't discard it, you can use it again. So four and one eighth. Just neaten up the edges. Four and one eighth by one and five eighths. That's one and a half. Scooch it over two inches and that's your panel. And you need to get some Moody Move cardstock to cut another one for the back. Then for the inside of the card, you want a very vanilla piece that measures three and three quarters by five and a half. And that's 9.5 by 14 centimeters. Then you put double sided tape on the back of these frames like I've done here and then you adhere the designer series paper on top. So I've done it for these three to save time and I'll just show you on this one. This is the one that's going to go behind so put the double sided tape along here and snip it off remove the backing tape on the top and bottom release the backing tape from the two sides and bend it back like that um, you don't want to remove all of it yet and then line it up leaving an even border all round like so and then you can release it as you go along. These two pieces will attach to the two Moody Move pieces of cardstock you cut out and that's for the front and back of the card and this one you want to now put onto your leftover flaps on the main card itself. So remove the top and bottom and do as you did before for the designer series paper. Just peel that back partially so you've got more control when you're placing it on the cardstock. And leave an even border all round like so and then take that away repeat for this piece set that aside while you adhere these two so I forgot to put adhesive on the gold frame so you need to do that as well Release the top and bottom, partially release the two sides. Place on the Moody Move pieces. Uh, 
I'm going to pop this on my grid paper and just put this piece buttered against the cut line here because I want to establish how much tape I need. And then do the opposite for the other end. And then place a bit here at either end. Now release the tops and completely remove the bottom here okay and place that over making sure that there's equal distance between that and that and then press down and release okay flip it over attach this one as well Pop tape on the underside of this piece, top and bottom. Now it's easier on this side because you've got that as a guide. Release that completely. Partially release this, then place it so that's um, the back and the front marry up and it's not visible from the other side. Now you can glue this piece to the inside of your card leaving an even border all round. Shut the card and I'm using the Autumn Teaches Us to that change can be beautiful. So I'm going to stamp that in Moody Move. Make sure that that is straight. And stamp an acorn above here a gold sequin on the bottom here. Then from the leftover of the inside of the gold matte layer I'm going to die cut three acorns. Remember to stagger your plates so that it will go through the machine. So I've put that a little bit behind the chamfered edge of plate one Put my cardstock there. Use a glue dot to adhere it to the card. Use a mini dimensional. Well, I haven't got a mini dimensional, so I'll just use one of these. Pop that behind. Stagger it. And then glue dots again to attach one in here. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Thanks for joining me. If you liked it, do give me a thumbs up and share if you can. I'd really appreciate it. I'll be next week for more autumn goodness. And for now, bye.